Hey folks, how's it going? We are live from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's the old Huey Long Bridge that we're looking at. Uh, it's a windy, cloudy day. Temperatures in the 60s, 70s today. This is winter in Louisiana. And we're here, we're going to walk around the Mississippi waterfront downtown Baton Rouge, which is a very nice place. So what you're seeing right now, thank you for joining us, is the old Huey Long Bridge. And that body of water right there is the mighty Mississippi, one of the most important waterways in uh, the United States. Just beyond, maybe you can see that building says, Greater Baton Rouge, Port of Greater Baton Rouge. And on that side is the, if you keep going a few miles down, is the town of Lafayette, Louisiana. That's west. I pan. South this way, you can see Bastion of Louisiana. You'll see them everywhere. Casino. But we like the water, so I'll show you a little bit more. Again, if you're just joining us, this is the Mississippi waterfront in downtown Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And that is the USS Kidd, an old warship that has been all over the world. It was used in World War II. That was a bridge. Uh, the bridge over there is the old Huey Long Bridge here in crossing the Mississippi, right at the foot of downtown Baton Rouge. It's very pretty. Now the USS Kidd, which is what you're seeing right now, is a very cool boat. It was used uh, in World War II to defend uh, our own shores in Casco Bay in Maine, around Portland, Maine. And uh, from there it went on several voyages, made it to Pearl Harbor, made it to Midway, Australia. It's been all over the place. And now it is docked here. Uh, and part of that also is this uh, Veterans Memorial over here where you can come and experience a little bit of history. You can see a, a fighter jet there as well a bomber jet. And what you see just beyond that is one of the conference centers here in Baton Rouge. And there's a little bit more of downtown over here. We'll get to, we'll get to that. But here's the waterfront for now. closer look at the USS Kid. You can see the little pirate engraved there. That's a little tribute to Captain Kidd, who the ship is named after. Uh, 
he died in the USS Arizona, and they named the ship after him. Soon after, 1943, I think. You can see some people on board the ship. It's pretty interesting. Over here we have what looks like some sort of docking. Docking station. I see some people in the comments uh, talking about the name Baton Rouge. Uh, I guess the correct pronunciation in French would be Baton Rouge. Some people in the comments also think that the USS Kid might be better no named uh, the USS Grown Up. I'm not one to talk about that. The USS Adult, maybe. I'm not one to say. But maybe one day the Navy will take our, uh, our Facebook comment suggestions in stride. history might help you go about your day might help you learn a little bit of history of a different place you might not be able to go to and today we're in the Mississippi waterfront of Baton Rouge Louisiana and this little pier dock sort of thing Here's the mighty Mississippi. Now the weather over here is uh, in the 60s. I'm walking around with jeans and a short leave t-shirt and it's pretty comfortable it is winter around here but you wouldn't know it from the temperature right now Louisiana is known for uh, to be an oil town of oil business around here. So it's a lot of chemical enterprises around here. And one of the bigger employers of the city of Baton Rouge is the Louisiana government, which is housed in that building over yonder, the one that looks uh, sort of like an Art Deco peak in the middle there, the Empire Empire State looking building. We might get a little closer in, in a little bit, but that's the Louisiana State Capitol, where lawmakers meet to decide the future of the state. Very close by to this, the Mississippi River. Now the USS Kid we talked a little bit about earlier, um, I see somebody in the comments wondering a little bit about it. 
it was grounded because it eventually got old. It went all over the world. It was used in Korea. Uh, the USS Kid is back here if you're barely joining us. You might see it on the left hand side of your screen. It was used in Korea, it was used in World War II, and you know, the Navy does have to re up its ships. So it got grounded in California, and then when they sent ships all over to become sort of tourist destinations that people could visit, uh, somewhere in the line they decided to send the USS Kid to Baton Rouge. You might be able to see in the distance some of the petrochemical uh, chimneys that we were talking about. What amazes me about Baton Rouge is that there's a lot of waterfront property like this that's very beautiful that hasn't really been uh, developed yet. Especially right next to a place like the Mississippi River. And by developed, I mean, I think there's a lot of potential for to make it a very social place. And right now, as you can see, it's there are people around, but it's a little bit more industrial looking with these railroad tracks here and the separation of the parking lots. Oh, let me show you this building. That's very cool. Uh, Louisiana was part of. Spanish colonies at one point, and you can see that castle looking building there it is uh, the old state capital. Very Spanish looking to me, very different architecture from the new state capital, which is a little bit taller, a little bit less castle y. see the state capitals, that building in the middle of the screen, all the way over there. We're still a little far, I don't think we'll get there, but very different from the old state capital. Baton Rouge is a small town. It's got about 300,000 people living in it. A little bit more if you count the surrounding areas. I think that's where I'll leave you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this vista 
which I don't think it's shared along too much. And uh, thanks again.